Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to be discussing a few tips and tricks that I picked up in my 100% playthrough of Monster Sanctuary. The first tip may or may not have value to you depending on how you like to play the game, but once you have access to the Monster Journal, that's actually a really nice way to not only figure out what each monster is categorized as, but also is a great way to figure out what each monster is capable of helping you with in terms of field abilities. Now obviously, once you hatch a monster, you can just switch around and pick the one you want to do whatever it is you need. But, but being aware of the different exploration abilities before you even have the monster can be a benefit. So I highly recommend just every time you run into a monster, if, even if you don't happen to get the egg, look at its monster entry in your journal and see how it fits into helping you explore the world. This next tip is also directly from the menu here. Now some of you may have noticed this, some of you may have skimmed past it, especially if you had played through the demo content or the early access content prior to the full release of the game. But the talk feature that was added can actually save you a lot of time as you go on through the game. You can see here, you're only seeing the primary tag, but there's also a secondary tag that will appear later on to let you know that, oh, maybe go talk to this NPC. And that'll help you finish off your, your monster journal, finish collecting all the different monsters, it's a nice little quality of life addition that is easy to miss. This next tip involves the team feature. I'm sure you've noticed that you can save teams so you can have your different team loadouts going. But something you may not have realized is that when you save your team, you're not just saving the position of the monsters that you want to bring along, you're also saving their equipment template. So if you were to go and remove the equipment so you could try out a different team, then when you were to go and reload that other team that was previously equipped, they will re-equip all of the items that you had given them before, which is a great way to keep all of your teams fully equipped without having to worry about, oh, I, now I need to have another six of this or that. You know, it's very, very handy. Next up is quite possibly my favorite quality of life improvement that they did in this game, and that is the equipment filter. Some people may hear that and think, oh, that's boring. That's not all that great a thing. But honestly, to me, these devs deserve a friggin' award for adding this feature. To be able to go, you know what, this monster only really interested in boosting their defense, and then go to the filter, pick defense, and then the only items that it shows you are items that allow you to up their defense. That's huge. That is huge. Especially in any kind of stat based game like this. 1 million percent use the filter. This next tip is something that the game doesn't actually tell you, but you figure out if you play the game a particular way. Monster Sanctuary uses a form of level scaling, but it's a very different kind of level scaling than you've seen in other RPGs. You see, the levels of the monsters will go up based on the order that you progress through the game. So since I don't want to spoil too much, I'm just showing the two areas that you are able to see in the demo content. So you really can't enter the blue caves before you go to the starting area here on the map. However, the game is open enough that you will be able to enter pretty much every other area in whatever order you want. So if you were to enter the area that's just west of the green zone after finishing up the blue cave, then all the enemies, th then the first group of enemies you encountered there would be the same level as if you were to enter the area that's just east of the blue caves after finishing there. And then when you were to make it to that area that's just west of the green area, they would be a higher level than what they would have been had you gone there directly after the green area or directly after the blue area. It's a very interesting way to do level scaling. And for that reason, no one can really tell you what level you should be when you go anywhere in the game because that all depends on you. This next one is more a warning than a tip. Eventually, you're gonna come across the monster farm. And if you have any experience with monster collection games, there's a good chance you're gonna see that and you're gonna think, oh, passive monster leveling. Awesome, I'm gonna drop off all of my monsters that are in my current party. 
and then you're gonna run around for a bit come back and find out that nothing happened absolutely nothing because the monster farm does not help you in any way other than decluttering your inventory if you don't like seeing all of your monsters down at the bottom of the screen then use the monster farm if you don't mind don't ever use the monster farm I don't but it's up to you this next one involves the area where the evolution tree is but doesn't have anything to do with the evolution tree because of how important a little area this is in terms of a gameplay feature it's kind of easy to not notice that right at the front here is a merchant and this merchant sells devil badges an incredibly useful item that can be used to help you catch some monsters up that you don't feel like farming an egg for. And finally we come to the blacksmith room. You've most likely visited the blacksmith at least once. There's something you may be unaware of is that once you get your rank to a certain point, a second merchant will show up in the room to actually sell you the materials you need to be able to let the blacksmith upgrade your equipment. The higher your rank, the more materials the merchant will carry which caps out at every possible material you could need to be able to upgrade any piece of gear in the entire game it's very useful definitely worth using that's it for this quality of life guide i hope this has been helpful to you and i'll see you guys next time bye